What's up everyone, it's Mike from iGuysWell and in this video we're going to be talking about the 8K TVs. I mean, who bought the 8K TV? Alright, I think I made a mistake. I bought the 8K TV. Alright, so let's talk about 8K stuff, right? So this TV right here is 8K. It is the Samsung Q800T. It's uh, from the Wholesale Club. So the club model is Q850T. Right there is the box. Sorry about it's fl flipped over. But what I've been using for the LG OLED C10 with the PlayStation 5 and the uh, Series X. I mean, I haven't plugged and played on this one as much as I'm, I've been playing on this LG OLED C10. I mean, both the consoles are connected to LG OLED C10. Um, even right there, I have the gaming PC. Sorry about the mess right there. This whole thing's gonna need setup. I'm just overwhelmed by the technology this year so everything needs to be fixed but right now this is what I that this is what it is there are wires around there's um, there are connectors there are, there's a lot of testing happening so guys excuse my mess well so let's go back to the 8k TVs so what is the significance of a 8k TV if you're not using it with the console and let's walk down here so you see all of these movies right here 4k that could be one of the reasons you know no need for 8k tv well i'm trying to show you this the marketing material 8k 4k 120 hdr all right that's on the packaging right let's see what's here 4k 120 fps 8k hdr amazing so this is what they're selling and then we have the TV also, which is 8K. It's not that uh, we don't have the TV available, but we do have the TV. But why the resolution is locked? I mean, if you go to the PlayStation 5 menu, you don't have 8K. If you go to the Xbox Series X, you don't have the option. So why is that? we don't have the resolution and why do we even need the 8k tv all right so let me talk about it for just one second and i'll show you what is happening let me grab the remote control for the tv all right so let's hit the home button and let's go to youtube for instance okay we go here and we look for the 8k video right there okay what do you see in the results all of the videos are in 4k there's not even a single video that we can find on this 8k TV which is in 8k on YouTube it's not that YouTube does not have 8k videos there are many videos available on YouTube but those are the videos you do demo testing I mean there's no show available in 8k there is there, there's not a single game which is available in 8K. So why do we need 8K? All right, guys. So I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. This is BS. <laughs> I know they're trying to tell us that, oh, we're going to unlock in the future. Oh, we'll have it in the future. But we should have it. I mean, I know there's not, there's not a lot of people have 8K TVs. But if you have one, you're missing out on one thing. Let's say you had the 8K TV. And now you kind of like uh, want to play the 4K video. Let's say this one. It is being upscaled. I have to pause. All right, guys. I just paused the ad because I don't want to show you ad on a video. But I want to show you this video right here. So right now, Samsung is using his, all of his capabilities or the processing to upscale this 4K video and show us on this 8K TV. So, this is the only option which is good right now if they had the resolution output because right now this TV screen is capable of doing 8K. It's 8K panel and we can see the 8K HDR on this. I tried doing it with the uh, computer. I connected the PC to it and I did the 8K 60 Hertz HDR gaming on it. I played Forza Horizon on this one and looked so beautiful. I'll add the link to that video in the description so you guys can see that one. 
So let's say if we had the Xbox Series X connected to this TV right here, you would be able to output 8K resolution and then your TV would be able to upscale it for you and would look better. Same goes to like, you know, how your signal is 1080p, but your 4K TV upscales it to 4K, right? So the same way, if you have the investment in 8K TV, the resolution output of 8K on both of these would have been amazing. But they said that there's not much content out there, so they have disabled the resolution, which is on the box for marketing. You know how they wanted to sell and they put the logo out there, 8K. Well, I'm not mad of that at all because 8K is kind of useless. You know why? Because if you're sitting at a distance of like more than three and a half feet or four feet, in my case, with the six, uh, 65 inch TV, you're actually not looking at 8K. You can't see that. You have to be really close to the TV. Then the point is, how about the 4K? I mean, in, in that also, if you're sitting more than like six feet to uh, eight feet distance, you can't see 4K either. So should we just go back to like 1080p? No, <laughs> because the quality of those pixel on 4K is really condensed and makes it look better. The colors pop and all that. Same thing happens with the 8K. You can not see the resolution, but the image that it produces for you is amazing. So I wish in the next update, we have the PlayStation 5 8K resolution output and we have the Xbox Series X resolution output the way Sony promised, the way Xbox Series X Microsoft promised. So just hopeful for that one and then you will need the perfect 40 gigabit per second to 48 gigabit per second bandwidth HDMI, ultra high speed HDMI cable. All right guys, so I think I have talked enough about the 8K TVs. If you have anything about 8K TV, if you bought one, if you own one, tell me what do you think about it if you were lucky enough to get one of these and you wanted to see how it's gonna be with the 8K TV because this is what I always I wanted to see, how this 8K resolution is gonna be. With PC, it's a lot easier, you know? PC, you just connect that um, graphic card and connect the HDMI and you have that 8K output. I really love doing gaming on this right here. This is NVIDIA RDX 3080. And this one does real native 4K gaming on the 8K TV. I did it with my NVIDIA RDX 3090 Founders Edition and I did it with the 3080. 3080 cannot push it to the limits where you can do 8K 60 Hertz stable. You have to go like low to medium settings, but 3090 is one hell of a beast. The way that game, that graphic card handles the 8K on the TV is just out of this world. Well guys, that's about it for the 8K TVs. It's just sitting here getting dust. What is your opinion on that? Let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, peace out and see you in another one. Bye-bye.